How's everybody doing today? Uh, as you can see, we finally got some production value. So uh, if it doesn't, the green screen doesn't look perfect, um, I will kind of get around to it tweaking it. I just set this up. So um, yeah, what we're gonna look at in this video are, are the uh, construction phasing, I think it's called, or phasing animation. Um, now, this actually doesn't work in the way that I originally thought it would. I thought you'd be able to just use a model and then it would kind of just chop different parts of it up. Um, you actually do have to do a bit more work than that, but on the bright side, because you have to do a little extra work, it actually comes out a lot nicer. Um, and uh, I find you actually have more control over it. So in the video that I showed there, um, all of the, um, all of the like effects, like there's four different effects. If we hop into uh, the Lumion file here, I'm just gonna completely remake the video. Um, the materials and models might be a little bit different, but we'll still be able to kind of walk through how I made that. So if we go to movie and I'll just delete these two clips quickly. So if I just kind of set something up, uh, maybe we'll, for now we'll just have it so that the animation kind of starts right here. We'll put in uh, like, I think I'll make it like 11 seconds. That should be good. Uh, ease in and out. Okay. So now that I can get to the effects, I'm going to go to the animated phasing. Um, and since there's no, well, I guess there is kind of objects, but not the objects that we want. Um, the, um, you just get all the options here. So like, but right now, like we will normally have our walls and everything selected, but, uh, you could go and select like the trees and things like that. But depending on what you're doing, like we're just going to focus on the construction, I guess, like aspect of it right now, because there is actually quite a lot of possibilities with this, but I really only want to focus on like just bringing in a very basic house. Um, so yeah, we have pop it. We have no effect pop in sky drop ground raise and implode um, So I did you as I said, I did use all four of those in the uh, introduction video just a second here um, Okay, so uh, What we're gonna do first is we're going to bring in all of the components of our sketchup model So this is what the actual um, The actual file is like this is basically my combined version um, and as you can see, I put everything into separate groups. Uh, if you are interested in trying this and like going along with me, I'm going to put this SketchUp file and the Lumion file into the Google Drives, but I'm also going to put all of the exploded uh, SketchUp ones in there. So like, for example, like this particular wall is in its own file so you can load them in uh, one after the other. So that stuff will all be in the link below if you are interested in that. Um, now, what we're going to do is I'm gonna just quickly delete the components that I already brought in. So like the window, the door, the walls, because we're just gonna walk through every single step together. So we're gonna import. The first thing I wanna bring in is the slab. So I just put down like a little concrete pad. And then what we're gonna do is we can actually animate this quickly. Um, you could just bring them all in, but just for the purpose of this, um, I'm just gonna kind of show how it works. So what this is here is we have phasing animation. I'm gonna just change the name of this to slab. And then I'm gonna make this sky drop. So what this is saying is that at time zero, it's gonna take, I think I had three seconds falling from the sky before. Uh, let's do two just to speed it up a bit. So, uh, oops like two seconds, that's close enough. So I'm gonna do ease in so that it, it kind of drops and then slowly goes into place. Uh, and then stagger is if you have more than one um, object, but uh, it's not necessary for this one. So what we're gonna do is, oh, okay. And this is, <laughs> I've done this a couple of times. So I keep thinking that like, I'm like, okay, I brought the object in, that's it. So you actually have to click objects obviously, and then click this and go save changes. Okay, so now as you can see, it's not there. And if we hit play, then it's gonna fall in. Um, and if you can see that weird like shadow, that doesn't appear in the actual render. That's just because it's like a moving object. So it takes uh, Lumia a second to recalculate, but when you're actually doing the, the frames then it's not a problem. So cool, uh, we're gonna go back into build mode now. Now I'm just gonna import all my other pieces. So wall one, I'll hit okay. And this isn't perfect um, just because as you can see, like it, uh, I just kind of will drop this like maybe here. Um, and yeah, it, don't worry about being perfect with this. Now, what you can do um, if you're doing a big file, obviously for doing every wall can be tedious. Um, what I would just recommend you do is you do it by layer. 
Um, even if you don't do anything with the actual building that you're doing, just the fact of having like trees pop up, having like the, the couches and everything pop up, um, which we will get into uh, in a moment, but I think it's a really cool tool. So I'm just gonna copy this one over. And if you hold X, it'll lock it to that axis. So now we're gonna import wall two. I think this is the front facing one. And then I'm just gonna clip that in here. It doesn't have to be perfect for now because we'll go back and just fix it in a second. Uh, and then, oh yeah, so this is the front facing one. And then I'm also gonna bring in my roof. I guess we'll just throw that like up there. Uh, and then we're gonna do door. And then we're going to do the window. Like I said, this takes a second just to kind of get going, but I do think it's uh, it's pretty well done. And I, I when I was looking at the video render, I was like, it's actually a pretty cool little little trick. As I said, it's not exactly what I had in mind, but it might have actually might actually be a little bit better than uh, I thought it was going to be. So I don't know why I'm lining this up right now because that's not <laughs> in place at all. So that was kind of dumb. Um, okay, so yeah, we just have to keep kind of going through here and uh, making sure that everything is looking good. Uh, so we'll just keep getting this and yeah, this doesn't have to be perfect. So um, Maybe I'll line the door up actually and just move them all together And uh, yeah, I, I could have set all this stuff up before the video But I kind of wanted to see or I want you guys to see the entire workflow of what I was doing um, so I think Something like that. I think that's at least good enough to start. Yeah, that'll do. Um, so yeah, now we're just gonna grab all of these, um, all of these uh, components here. So we're gonna grab this and that. And where is the wall? There we go. Uh, right, and then I'm just gonna move that back into the position And okay, right so we got through that part and now it's just a matter of putting the roof on uh, we will drop some uh, models in there um, just because that uh, I Find that that was kind of a cool little effect if you notice at the beginning where like the, the couches kind of popped in as well uh, and that's that's actually what's so easy about this is that since it's all different objects If you want to drop in like a tree or something then you in your animator you just click it and that's the end of it. So um, Yeah, that is good enough and what we're gonna do is now we're just gonna apply some quick Lumion Materials just to make it look a little bit better uh, outdoor roof uh, slate and what we're gonna do here is uh, we're just gonna come here and we're gonna twist this and that's actually the reason why I use two different roof textures I always and when I remember doing SketchUp to bring into Lumion. I always put all of the um, The roof faces that are pointing the same way as the same co uh, Color and then like this one will be a different one because I want to have control over all the panels of like the way that the shingles are So with this one, we're just gonna copy paste and yeah, I mean those ones are backwards, but that's kind of whatever I could change that if I wanted to but that's not a that's not really a big one uh, These are supposed to be I'm not sure why that keeps snapping There we go, so I just had to change the bank right okay now um as I said, we'll just keep going and throw some of these on something that is kind of a downside of the way that this is, has to be set up is that if you bring in two objects like these walls all have the same color, but since they're imported as different objects, you can't actually change them at the same time. And it is easy just to go and copy and paste, but it'd be kind of interesting to see if Lumion could make something that was like, you, you just click like link all similar materials or something like that, um, just to help speed this up. If they ever did a batch import, then that would really help this, uh, this workflow. But we're almost finished here. So just bear with me a moment longer uh, And then the last thing I think we're gonna do is I'm just going to maybe change this color to like Just make it look a little whiter Turn the gloss up 
Then we're going to make this uh, just like a black metal so it's a little bit shiny. Um, I'm going to turn the gloss down. Maybe turn the, just like that so it's not completely black. Oh, oops. Right, so we didn't want to do that. Ah, whatever. We'll just we'll just make this glossy, and uh, that'll be good enough. It's not it's not too important how this is. Like it's the the purpose of this is only just to kind of show how you set them up. So what I'm going to do is just uh, go in here. I'm going to make this a concrete, and then we're going to drop just a few like living room materials on it. Uh, concrete, good enough. Uh, we'll go to content library, indoor. So. Uh, I think I'm going to drop this here. Uh, yeah, for some reason, this one comes in like in a weird spot. I don't know if that's just because of the uh, like the slab that's there, but just kind of pull that one out. Um, and so what I'm also going to do is maybe just drop like this random stool there. And this, again, this doesn't have to be perfect at all because we're just going to be like making it drop from the sky just to kind of make it look cool. And maybe I'll scale that up a bit, but that should be good. Oops. All right, so that should be good. And now we can animate this. So uh, in the movie, what I'm going to actually do is I'm just going to go to clip. And this starting one, maybe I'll start over. I think actually in the video, I started like over here. So this, this one really doesn't have to be perfect. So we'll update that. And then this one is like over here. So if we play it through, yeah, like that's... That's good enough. As you can see, that one slides in because that's the only one set up. Uh, so now we're going to go back to the phasing. I'll create a new phasing animation and I'll put this at two seconds. And this is like, you can see right here. So this darker part, that is where, um, that's like the slabs animation. But then all this light blue part is just like when the slab is in, like it's still in the scene, obviously. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're just going to rename this phasing animation to wall one uh, because I'm gonna make these smaller walls come in first uh, and just to make sure okay so that's sky drop so for this one we'll do ground rays uh, so it already has the duration set up because we can just slide it along this thing here and then this duration will make this like two and a half as well um, now with this one I'm gonna put the ease in on five and I'm also gonna put the stagger on five because that means that they're not gonna come in at the same time so if I drag the oh see I just did it again you have to click the <laughs> Yeah, you have to click on the actual, uh, on these objects here. Did I have this set up in? Um, oh, that's kind of interesting. Okay, so if you have it, I actually didn't know this because I didn't just run into this problem when I did it the first time. So if you can't find the objects, it seems like you have to have it set to like, I think you might have to actually have it set to like the imported object library. Like you can still select the same things. Let's find out. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So the first time uh, I didn't actually run into that issue, as I said. So that's something that you want to keep in mind um, if you are having that uh, that that problem. So we'll just keep bringing this in, and then the uh, yeah. So we can see that those uh, those will slide in, and then we'll just keep doing that. Um, and it might even be easier if you just bring them in one by one and do it, but I just wanted to get the house set up and get it out of the way. I could fix that right there, but I'm not going to bother. Um, we'll just do a new uh, animation phase, and we'll put that like here. Uh, duration, two and a half, start time. Right, now this one, uh, we're going to do pop in. Uh, so we're going to do the ease in, stagger, and then we're going to go to objects. We're going to click this wall. We're going to go through and click this wall right so i think that those should be the two objects oh i just i must have missed the other one it does it is a little bit finicky but as i yeah just want to make sure everybody's got the correct workflow there we go and it'll say down at the bottom how many I've selected. So we'll call this one wall two. Um, and everything looks good there. So I'll go back and animated phasing. And 
then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another one. This one's just going to be the, I think I'm going to do the, uh, all the stuff. And I, I might actually come back and just rearrange the order a bit. That's what's kind of nice about this is that it's, it's pretty forgiving. So the phasing animation for this one, we will call doors and window and roof. So we'll just uh, click this, click this, click this. Okay. Uh, the duration, we'll make this one like two just because we don't want it maybe as long. And then this one we'll just do implode. So this kind of makes them like all just like come in. Um, and so let's just see kind of where we're at with this right now. So this is from the very beginning and we're going to clean up the, the furniture in a second. As you can see, it comes in. These pop up, the walls pop up. And then the other ones, the little kind of like rush in. Yeah, this one you may actually want to move closer to the other ones. I'm not sure why, uh, but it seems like the uh, it has like kind of a weird timing on it. So if we just slide this in a little bit more, then um, I find that that works best. So let's watch that one more time. And so that's, um, you know, it's looking pretty good. Um, but I might increase the duration on that just so it's not as like, Oh, ease in, that's actually what I need to do. So stagger, ease in, and maybe just increase the duration a tiny bit. Uh, and now I'm just going to fix up those um, those furniture models, and we should be good to go. Um, so I think I saw that this one was hovering a little bit. If the other ones are, then whatever. Uh, I guess we might as well check this one. Okay, so that one's good. Um, now... I think the way that I'm going to do it is I think I might actually add it so that the the furniture comes in after the the, uh, the slabs so that they're very uh, it's very easy to see. Uh, so we'll go to movie, animated phasing. We'll add one more and we'll call this one furniture. Uh, we'll go to objects, click them all on, um, and then I think if we put it like somewhere here maybe, duration. Yeah, let's try that. And this one, as I said, we're going to do sky drop. Um, so ease in and stagger. Now let's, uh, so this will be the, the finished animation. Um, once we kind of get that set up, what I, what I did for the uh, video, is I just went up here, custom style, realistic. As you can see, the, um, the animated phasing is still there. We'll just hit play. Yeah. And, you know, mind you, you, you could spend extra time to make sure that it's, uh, it's looking good, but that's um, that's really all you have to do. If you add in things like trees, you can do the exact same thing you did with the furniture. Um, but it's kind of cool is that since if you do the stagger and the ease in, then just select like a group of 20 trees and they'll all pop up at different times. Uh, so that is really nice that you can do that because without the stagger, that would create a ton of work to kind of get that random effect. So I'm really happy that they added that in. But um, yeah, as I said uh, before, all of the links that you need to do this... Um, or sorry, all the files you need to do this are in the links below. So um, that will just take you to my Google Drive. You can download it all. Uh, if you want to try your own out, uh, let me know how, uh, how it goes for you. And uh, if you think you'll use it a lot. Uh, also, if this is one of the first times you've checked out my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Uh, I have a couple more interesting videos coming out about Lumion 11, and then I'm going to do a couple videos that I've been meaning to get to for a while. So it'd be great if you stuck around for that. Uh, if you are already subscribed, thank you very much for supporting the channel, and I will see you all in the next one. Have a great day.